Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Essatino Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add multiple videos on one screen, making an epic project. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 2021 and I've got some test clips here. And usually when you add a video on the screen, you drag it down and you drag it to, let's say, track one. And we'll put it right there. That's usually how it goes. You have one video on the screen, and then if you add another one, you usually put it behind it. If you stack your videos, you can actually have multiple videos on one screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add four. I'm gonna show you different variations of how to make this look cool. I'll do the first way, which is the window way. And so I'll add video number three, and then I will add a new track. I'm gonna right click on track three, go to insert track, click above. Oh, and if you wanna know where I got these clips from, I got it from this website called Motion Array. It's a subscription-based website, and they have some awesome types of footage. So drag the fourth one. All right, so now I have them all stacked on top of each other and you're probably wondering, okay, yeah, we only see the last one. Well, you have to shape them accordingly. Since the track four is showing on the top, which is the latest one, let's start doing the, what I call the window formation. So I'm just gonna grab the corner here while it I clicked on it so it is highlighted. And I'm going to size this until you see that. You see how those yellow lines, that's showing you that that's one quarter. That's one piece out of the four and it's an equal part. So now I'm gonna go to the third one here, click on that. And then I'm gonna grab this corner this time and I'm going to put it down here. And then I'll scroll down on the timeline, go to track two, and then I'm gonna grab it from the bottom. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I wanna go one, two, three, four, and then the first one, but you can literally do it any way you want. You can put it in whatever order you want. So the last one here, I'm gonna grab over here and put it right here. And so now you can see that I literally have four videos on one screen. And I'll just have it pop up on the screen here so you can see what it looks like when it's playing. Looks pretty epic, right? So that's the first variation of putting multiple videos on the screen. The next cool way is the three-part stack. I'm just making these names up. The, this is what I call it. So we'll grab one of these here. Whoa, that one looks really good. <laughs> My favorite color is purple, so this one looks awesome. Let's grab this one for the middle. And I'll grab this one for the top. And so for this example, I'm going to show you a different placement. So for this one here, you see, if I just grab it and I shrink it, it doesn't shrink it the way I want it to, so we actually need to go to the crop tool. So for this style of placement, instead of grabbing the usual circular parts here, we want to go to the crop tool, and we actually want to crop it, which is basically cutting it, and I want to cut it to about here. I have to eyeball it right now, I don't know the exact measurements but we'll play around with it okay so for the middle piece we'll click on that and we'll go to the crop and we'll crop it a bit we do need to move it just a little bit so maybe something like that now for the first one i could go and crop it and move it but i could also leave it it's all up to interpretation and what you like and how it looks like this could actually look really cool. This piece is looking a little bit bigger to me, so I'm gonna shorten it a little bit. You can get really specific if you want, like you can actually measure this out, but we're just playing around here. And so now you see this one looks really cool. I'll have a clip of that play on the screen now.
And so this one's called the three part stack. Now you can also do these lines vertical. So you see how these are horizontal lengthwise hamburger, right? You can also do them vertical. Let's grab this one again, put it down here, grab this one for the middle, and then I'll grab this one for the top. All right, so let's do now the vertical version of the three part style here. So I'm going to crop it again. And let's say to about here, click on the middle one, crop it. And let's say we, oh, let's go here. And then we'll go back to this one and extend it a bit. Something like that. And then there you go, you've got three chunks. You could even add more and do four if you want or five. You know, sky's the limit with how many videos you can add on screen here. So back here at the four part, another thing that you can do is they don't have to be touching. Each video does not have to be touching. You can move it just like a little bit back if you want to add like some space in between each video, creating like a window effect or something, like a window panel, something like that. You could even put a color behind here. It doesn't have to be black, it can be white, it can be whatever color you want. And so you can get really creative with this style by adding multiple videos. And you can see I found these cool clips on that website Motion Array, and already just by placing multiple on there, it's looking really cool. So if you like these kinds of videos, I have a 9 plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get access to down in the description below. If you guys want to fast track your Camtasia learning, you need to take this course. The link for that will be down in the description below. Smash the thumbs up button if you thought this was cool, and I'll see you in the next video.